Good morning. Welcome to Clawfoot Farm. I'm Samantha and thank you for coming by and seeing what we're doing. Um, I'd like to take today to just give a quick little update video. We've been off for quite a while and um, why we've been off and what we've been doing. For those of you who don't know, we um, were an urban farm we, were in, we uh, lived in the suburbs in Washington State in Zone 8B, um, and we urban farmed basically. We had a um, we raised had gardens, we raised chickens, uh, we had rabbits, and we did all the things on a very small scale. Um, then we packed up everything, sold our house, sold the sold the farm, sold the house, um, and. Um, our plan was to do a little traveling and tour the country um, and take the kids on an adventure before we landed in a new spot. Well, that didn't happen because of the pandemic, so we just didn't. Um, and we ended up at my mother-in-law's house, which we did a couple of videos there. and. Um, truth be told that just didn't work out too well and we needed to um, really be closer to where we were looking for land or looking for property um, so we moved out from there and had we're in a rental house which we made no videos on at all because it was a boring rental house so now we have found our property my finger is in the lens Okay, so now we've found our property and it's lovely and we love it. We bought um, five acres of raw land. Now, if any of you have ever bought raw land or really even just sat down to think about, maybe we'll buy this piece of property that has nothing on it. Um, you can't move to it exactly when you buy it, like when you buy a regular house in the suburbs or a house or a piece of property with a house on it because there's nothing on it so we had to move though our rent our lease was up on the uh, vacation house and we had this house and here we are so we also so we had no utilities um so we've been here for four weeks we've been here for four weeks now and we haven't made any videos because we've kind of just been surviving and scrambling and getting things fixed so that we can be uh, comfortable living here but now we've got um, we had a well put in oh yeah after I watched Brown Town last night honey I also watched you <laughs> I was like, I gotta see what this show's about. And then I remember watching one of the first episodes. Uh, we have power installed. And um, just a few days ago, we finally got the um, internet connection also put in. Hi, kitty. Hi, what are you doing? Do you like being out here? Do you like being able to be out in the forest? Hi, baby. So our focus is going to be um, more on developing a new homestead, um, living in a tiny house or an RV because that is what we're in right now um, our, until we can actually build our house up here where I'm standing right now. So that is our update. and. I guess let me tell you where we are. So we are still in Washington state, but we have moved about 300 miles away from where we were before. And it is beautiful here. We bought um, five acres of, a little over five acres of uh, raw land. And it was um, halfway cleared of a um, half of a, forest and half of a clean slate to actually 
be working on for um, developing our home site. Um, like I said, we put in the, uh, well, we didn't put in, we paid people to put in um, the well and the utilities. Uh, we're still waiting on, we're still waiting on the septic, which is an interesting thing, but we won't go into all of that right now. <laughs> uh, so we are still waiting on that, <clears throat> but we are able to live very comfortably here and we bought an RV and had that put on a, an RV pad. We had a driveway put in, and now we are working on, um, you know, just developing what is going to happen basically next year. So I am digging garden beds. I'm putting in um, some perennials, starting seeds of, of herbs and perennials. It's July, so um, I do have a few garden things that I have planted and I'll show you that in another video um, but it's really really late to you know really start a whole garden um, from scratch so I'm putting in beds I'm putting in perennials I'm starting seeds of herbs that can get established now and then they can really grow and blossom for next year uh, we are we have chicks so that we will have chickens and eggs for next year working on um, coops and like rabbit hutches and all of those little things so there's a lot to show you um, there's a lot of things going on and I'm so excited so you can see behind us that this clearing back here is where our home will actually be uh, built eventually when we get there and then outside of that it is pretty much forest Forest. There are big trees. Oh, there we go. Big trees. But we are very excited to be here. We are really um, excited to see how we develop this and really making this place our own. And that's what's going on for now and I hope that it is exciting and inspiring um, as we move forward on this. All right, I have to drink my coffee because it is early and then I have to go dig a garden bed. <laughs> Alrighty, I will see you later. Bye.